Raheem Mostert, our friend, has made it to Radio Row. It was difficult getting in here. It's like Fort Knox, this place, man. No, no it is. It really is. I mean, seriously, you guys got to, like, do a better job of, of, of making sure you let people like myself come in here at least. I, how, I is would, it, how is it possible that the NFL's <laughs> leading touchdown scorer was not able to just get in? I wasn't even supposed to be here, to be honest with you. Yeah, but, yeah, but you, should be able, you should be able just to walk in. Yeah. Right? <laughs> look, when I show face, they're not going to be like, oh, yeah, I know this guy. They you know, should. They're just, they're just going to be like, hey, look, where's the badge at? I'm like, oh, no. yeah, I don't no, one, sorry. we need to talk to Roger about this. <laughs> this is unacceptable. <laughs> you should just walk in, leading scorer in the NFL. Leading I, touchdown should, I, should have, I should have had that shirt on, huh? <laughs> I should have had just like a big 21. Yes. Yeah. No. Uh, I don't want to ask you about Vegas because I'm more fixated on Orlando and the Pro Bowl because oh. you had such a great time there. I was yeah. following you on social media. You had a blast there, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, no, I did. I did. It was uh, It was a lot of fun. It was, uh, it was eye-opening, right? It was full circle for me because I'm literally like 45 minutes east of Orlando, right? Um, from Daytona Beach, New Smyrna Beach to be exact. And right. So, um, yeah, it was just a full circle f- moment for me. You know, I, I grew up watching games in, in the Citrus Bowl, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and it was just, it was it was a thrill. It was a, it was a lot of fun. Can we talk about Disney World? Because Tugats was telling mm-hmm. me how excited you were to go to Disney World. Yo, your tweet moved me, man. The oh. fact that you were able to take your kids there. So that was just... universal. When I tweeted about oh, that, right. that, was, yeah, that was, so that was yes. universal. Um, I'm not a big fan of Disney. <laughs> really? Mean, yeah. Really? I, mean, I, I went with the kids. I, um, I took my family, my wife, and all that. But I'm like, yeah, it, I'm a universal how guy. Old, I like how old are your kids? <laughs> four, three, and one. Oh, four, three, and one. Disney's for them. Universal's for you. No, but my sons did like Universal. Really? More, though. Oh, yeah. Really? really? What was your favorite ride? So I, I took my oldest son on Spider-Man. Ooh, oh yeah, that's so great. that was that was a great ride for him. I don't know? like the simulated rides; they're like too herky jerky for me. Just so, me. Funny story: my wife, <laughs> she actually went to uh, we. So one night we had uh, like the whole theme park for just the players and families. It was like it was late night. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, so we got to ride the rides in the dark and everything. It was pretty cool. So we actually went to a Harry Potter ride. Yeah, and it was a simulated ride where you know you have the thing come over you, whatever the the seat belt. Uh, the bar, and we're sitting there riding a ride and everything, and I look over to my right, and I see her, and she's like, just like this. I'm like, oh, she must be, like, going. Like, it's a, it's a good <laughs> ride for her right now. Then we get off that ride. She dang near threw up. She was just like, yeah, that ride got me seasick. And I'm, or not seasick, but yeah, motion, motion sickness. sickness. Yes. She's like, I should have. I read the signs walking in. I'm like, oh, yeah, this is not good. But this whole time, she just had her hands like this. I'm like, oh, gosh. Can I give you an embarrassing confession? I love that he thought that she was having a good time when she was about yeah, to I, I literally peeked everyone. over. I couldn't see her face, though. Like, I, I, I peeked over a little bit, and I'm yes. like, oh, yeah, no, nah, she's yeah, enjoying she's this. Loving this. I'm like, this is pretty cool. So I used to, because Miami's not that far from Universal also, right? Right. You just drive up three and a half, four hours. So we used to get annual passes in part because like we did it once mm-hmm. and then just kept renewing itself over and over again. We're like, well, if it's paid for, we're going to go. Yeah. So we'd go in, like you get in like an hour early, or whatever, right? And we'd stay close enough where I decided it was a good idea one day to go in the hour early and try to go on every single the roller coaster hour. back to back yeah. to back. Oh. Yeah. So I went and I did the Hulk. And at the time, there was the dueling dragons. I went on one and then I got off and I went on the other. And then there's the rip ride rocket across the thing, right? Like three in, puking. I couldn't oh. hang. It was terrible <laughs> because there's no one in the park an hour early. So it's I was like three minutes in between each roller coaster, and there's no one in line. So you're just walking right, right. to the front of the line, going all of it. Horrible idea. Don't yeah. do that. No, yeah. I, honestly, but I, I had a lot of fun. It yeah, was, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I, I like I said, I took the kids to Universal. Hey, there's this new ride you got to try out. It's called Velocal Coaster. Oh yeah, how really? is it? Oh my, the best ride ever. Really, really, best ride ever. Explain it to us. So <laughs> it's basically. So, you know, Jurassic Park. It's in yeah. the Jurassic Park, uh-huh. you know. The Jurassic World area. Jurassic of the, World, yeah. yeah, yeah that part right. of the, the theme park. So, um, this ride is the smoothest ride in, in in the world. And it's fast. And it just takes you on these different loops and turns yeah. and everything. You go upside down. Literally, you're out of your seat. Wow. When you go upside down. And it's, like, close to the water. Uh-huh. Um, and you're hanging and stuff. Man, it's just. Are you screaming like a little kid? No, no, no. I don't scream. I don't scream. <laughs> you know? Did you yeah. do the uh, the one that's like the tri- the Velasa Raptors or whatever that's like a swing? You can do that with your kids. Yeah, Here's no, the thing oh about yeah, that. I did that one. You can do that with your kids, <laughs> but you this can't, is do, Billy's it. Wheelhouse you can't right do it as an adult. So you need a kid to do it. And yeah. then when your kid's too tall, you can't do it, which yeah. is the strangest thing because, like, yeah. You're a full-size adult male, right? And you can go on it with a child. Yeah. But if not, they're like, no, adults can't go on it. It's for little kids. So we actually went on that ride, and it was a, it was, it was, it was, it was different. Yeah. It yeah. was different. Yeah. Just because like you're hanging, right? Like you're, you're literally in the seat, and you're just going through yeah. the whole like, yeah, part of that park. 
and there's a certain part where it like kind of like stops you because you have to wait for the other carts to right. go around. Yeah. And it stops you, and you get like jerked forward a little bit. It's like almost like a whiplash. And I had to. My son was sitting in front of me, and I'm like, oh. Like, is he all right? And we get off the we get off the ride. He's like, Dad, that was so much fun. I'm like, Oh, dude, okay, he had a blast. I was nervous. Cause I was like, Look, this. I don't know if he could have fell out of the ride or anything like that. It was it was crazy. Who had more fun, you or the kids? Kids, definitely. But, but I was equally. As, I, I did have fun. It's though. a different kind of fun for you yeah. because your kids get to experience something that you enjoyed at yeah, one point, yeah. right? So growing up, that's all I. Yes. Like, that's I went to Universal. Mm -hmm. That was at right. Islands of Adventure. You know, all the all the different parks in Universal and so me being able to have my kids there man it was just it was a it was a blast I had so much fun as soon as you walked in here you were mobbed by about 50 people I was I yeah. if you I walk in I'm planning. telling you right now if you walk any further it's going to be 150 people yeah I, yes. I, yeah I wasn't even planning on coming I know. Um, and then you, uh, you hit me up I'm like yeah come on I gotta be on the show with my guys man these are my guys here so I appreciate hey you played in the Super Bowl so I'm what yeah do you have a root you're rooting for the 49ers. Yeah, right? I, so I tell everybody it's a it's a it's a love hate relationship right now for me. <laughs> I love the fact that they're in there, but I hate the fact that they are and yeah. they have an opportunity to win because right. I we could have won, you know, in 19 when we played the Chiefs. Yes. But um, right now for me, I, I'm going with I'm going with the Niners. I got to um, just because those are my guys, blood, sweat, and, and and you know we put a lot of sacrifice on that field together and. And there's, there's a lot of guys that are still on that team, a lot of coaches that are still a part of the team that was that was a part of when I was there. So um, I'm definitely going to have to go with the Niners on this one. Were you nervous the night before? I was. Did yeah. you sleep? Yeah. You I, got I, to sleep? I, I slept a little bit, but um, honestly, it was like this is a moment right now. You know, I got to cherish right. this moment. And so going into this game is, is, is key for a lot of guys. I mean, you have one of your best games ever. Yeah. 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 So it was, it was <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fun. I have a question for you that I need to get to the bottom of, and I haven't told you guys uh -oh. that I was going to do this. Here you go. The, la Here we the, go. Last time, the last <laughs> time you were on, you invited Stugatz to go to the clubhouse and have a drink with you mm. on a Friday night. And then you invited me too, but we all knew that I wasn't going to go because it's so far. But you invited Stugatz to go have a well, drink. Well, I think the difference is you told him straight up you were not going. I right? would yes. Okay, so here's the, here's the I was story. Like, yeah, Billy, come on out. He was like, no, nah, I'm good. Next, no, like, that's okay, not, right, that's not what happened. Right, that's not right, what he, happened. He lives three counties away that's from us. That's not what happened. <laughs> yeah. Next time you invite me, I will consider it. You can stay at his house. I he told you that. He can't stay at my house. Exactly right. He doesn't want me there. Oh, my God. All right, next time. You can stay at my house. You can stay at my house. I'll. You know what? Yeah, Deal. We'll yeah. do that. So, anyways, <laughs> let's get you, to the Reed. bottom of this. <laughs> yeah. He claims that he went to the clubhouse, and you were not there, and you stood him up. Now, there's no way to prove that he was there. <laughs> I didn't say that. There's no way to prove <laughs> that he that. was there. Wow. But I said, hey, did you – I asked him, like, I forgot about the next week. Two weeks later, I'm like, hey, did you ever go and have drinks with Raheem? And he's like, I was there. He never showed up. He left <laughs> – he stood me up. And I was like, I do not believe that that's the case. That's crazy. I can't believe that. I, I didn't I, say I, that. Dude, you're supposed to be my guy. Yeah. I am your guy. I didn't say that. Man, look. See, this is what happened, all right? I'm like, Stu, come on, man. Let's go out. Let's go Let's go grab a drink. Oh, here we go. The he's two like, of you. The two of you. He, he's mean. like – He's sitting there. He's like, he texts me. He calls me back. He's like, bro, oh, I've been so busy. I'm so tired, yeah. man. I, you know, the drive has just been so crazy for me lately. I'm like, okay, I see. But the how drive it is. from your house to the clubhouse is nothing. It's in the same community. The drive from our studio back yeah. home is what yeah. I was telling yeah. him. Yeah, I'm like, you know me. I'm like, all right, well, let's get a rain check. Right? Exactly yeah. right. Because I had some other stuff too. I will, I will okay. say that. I, ah, I did, I did have yes. some. I had some other okay. stuff too. So. <laughs> I had I had some obligations I had to fulfill. So yeah. Billy, I was just doing that for show. I didn't show up at all. Yeah, <laughs> I, wasn't yeah. like, I know yeah. you didn't show up, but you threw him under the bus and made it seem like it didn't happen because he I, was that. like you were there and he never showed up. Look, also, <laughs> so the the clubhouse actually finished remodeling. Right. So the restaurant yes. is it's amazing. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You've yes. been there. You you've been there already. I went to the restaurant once. Yes. It's nice. The, the golf, bar. Yes. The bar is nice. Is the everything. course open again yet or no? The it course is. is open, but yeah. it's cart path only. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Which it's, is fine. It, it's it, fine with me, but yeah. it, Billy, you're not ready for it yet. No. Okay. Like Billy doesn't want to walk. <laughs> Billy you wants to drive right up to his. Butt. I can walk. Billy, I think you, you can walk. I can walk. Can walk. <laughs> My legs work. Raheem, are we gonna get this done? Can me, you, and Billy play golf? Yeah, we're gonna play golf I'm, after I, the Super Bowl. I got lessons next week scheduled. Once this this whole week right. is done, next week I hit my my trainer up, Scott. Uh, Scott, I don't know if you know him. Uh, he he does tr lessons at the. Oh, Scott, the uh, yeah, the yeah, the, uh, yeah Scott, the yes, you know Scott, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah, but I don't know his last name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> not his so dream. I hit him up, and we're we're gonna get lessons, and I'm gonna go right after the lessons. The so. back of that range is nice, man. Yeah, it is. It really it is. is. Uh, so, you, are you going to the game? No, I'm not going. You're not gonna go. To I'm, the game. I'm leaving Sunday. Yeah. Uh, 
people say Kyle Shanahan is, like, he has to win this, right? Because everyone says he's, like, the best coach in the NFL. He's yeah. the smartest coach in the NFL. Yeah. You would probably say your coach is equally as smart, right? Right. Uh, Mike McDaniel. Definitely. But, like, he kind of has to win one, right, to validate all that? Yeah, he, he has to. I mean, he's been here for two two. This is his second time going right. in the past, what, five years? Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, you have to – you have to. There's a lot on at stake for him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what are we thinking about uh, for next year? Like, what's what's happening there? What 25, 30, 60 touchdowns. How many? Oh, are we yeah. I mean, Billy yeah. and I told you, don't take another snap again. Until oh, you yeah. You hold, you're going to hold out. <laughs> what are we going to do? <laughs> hold, out? hold out. <laughs> no, honestly, I don't know yet. We'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll see what there's that a lot, There's a lot of running backs. Don't hold out. This yeah. seems like a, it seems like you're not going to have He led the leverage. NFL in touchdowns. Yeah, stats. but I, just. <laughs> right now, this market is a little You got You got a good situation right now. I'm good right now. I'm good where I'm at. So I can't fight. Best behavior. Yeah, yeah, I, I got to yeah. be on my best behavior. I got to be on my P's and Q's. So. All right, don't leave us, man. We appreciate you coming down and doing I, this. Hey, are I appreciate you, the invite. Are, are you going to do more? Look, I, I got think I got one more lined up, and then that's it. But I'm All here right. for you guys, man. You, so you guys get drinks with him tonight. I will. Yeah. Where, you, where y'all staying at? We're staying at the uh, Circa. Circa? Yeah, okay. Fremont. Okay. All yeah. right, we're, at, me and, we're staying at Aria. Okay. Yeah, so we're right there. So. All right, you want to have drinks with us, Billy? Uh, yeah, sure. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. All right. All right. We'll, we'll make it happen. Let's do it, man. Uh, if you want to come back in a little bit, feel free. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I see Mark over here, Mark Ingram. Right. Coming up next, we have Mark Ingram yes, on the look set. At, look at him. Yeah, yeah, You're going to yeah. do this for a living one day, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. You gonna hire me? Yeah. <laughs> if you do it for ESPN, you get free Disney tickets. Yes, for real? It's yes. part of your perk. You're a Disney employee. You get free Disney passes. What? Yep. Now I can't offer you that. To be hey, honest ESPN. With you. <laughs> we know that. Your boy H Chan's coming on later too. Oh, he is. He's yeah. here. Yeah. Why yeah. don't you come back for that? Oh yeah, I, I definitely am. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. All right. All right. Well, appreciate y'all. We appreciate you, man. Yeah, man. You are the best. Thank you. Yes, I did sir. not blow you off. I did not blow you <laughs> off. About time. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate y'all, man. You're awesome, dude. Devon Achan is with us on behalf of Pepsi and Carnival Cruise Line, the second Dolphin running back of the day, huh? How about that, Billy? Big day for yeah. us, huh? <laughs> What's going on, man? Let's go, let's go. Thank you all for having me. Yeah, no, we appreciate it. What are you doing with uh, with Pepsi and Carnival? Uh, you know, basically, I'm here, you know, partying with Pepsi, uh, Pepsi and Carnival, basically, you know, uh, giving a chance for, uh, you no know, rookies to win a free cruise. Billy loves cruises. Have you been on a cruise? Um, no, I haven't. So this will be a lot fun. All right, so <laughs> we have lots to talk about then in terms okay. of cruises. Do they get? Do they let you pick wherever you want to go? Um, I have no idea. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm just you know there to enjoy myself. You want to go somewhere tropical. You don't want to go to Alaska. I mean, eventually you want to go to Alaska, <laughs> but not your first cruise. You don't want your first cruise to be Alaska. Go somewhere in the Caribbean. There's an Eastern Caribbean and a Western Caribbean. St. Kitts is beautiful. You like zip lining? Yeah. Oh, you can zip line through the mountains of St. Kitts and the rainforest. It's incredible. Cruises are great because, one, you can eat whatever you want. Yeah, I heard, it's I heard, all paid for. Yeah, yeah I heard about that. He's a professional that. athlete, man. Well, you, <laughs> you can pay for whatever you want anyways, but you feel like you're making a deal here. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. The more you eat, the more you drink, the more you feel like you're making money even though you already paid for it. Yeah, uh, yeah, I heard, I heard a lot. You know, my, family's, my family went on, went on cruises, but I've always been, like, you know, at school, you know, away at sports. I've always yeah. been doing some sports related. So I never actually got a chance to you know, go to cruise with the family. You enjoying Las Vegas? Oh uh, yeah. 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 First time here? Oh uh, no. No. <laughs> you said that like you're like you're a gagey veteran. I mean, nah, I mean it's like my second time, but you know it's it's it's, it's always fun with you. Right. When you come out places like this. How was your first year in the NFL? Like how was was it? What was uh, different between the NFL and college? Um, I I don't got to do schoolwork. <laughs> nice, nice. That's yeah, but difference. you had to study film, though, man. That, that, that's different. That's something, I, that's something I like doing. You, you know, enjoy doing it. Yeah. <laughs> we ask Raheem this all the time, and he says, so I asked him, Mostert, Tariq Hill, Waddle, who wins a 100-yard dash? And he always says the same answer. He says it's you. Do you agree with him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. You're the fastest guy on the team. Yeah. By a lot. I, I'm not going to say by a lot, but, yeah, I, I am, though. You beat Tariq Hill. Yes. Tyreek got you, though, later in the season. He broke your speed record. Uh, he did? Yeah, I think I he got I would have noticed. I think he got the 22-23. <laughs> so, like, we do, um, like, a boss power thing. And, yeah. Um, like, we got one in the, in the uh, like, at practice. Yeah. yeah. I got the fast time. Okay, perfect. <laughs> did you enjoy being on Hard Knocks? Was that was that cool for you guys? I mean, I mean, it, it is, it's cool because right. you, don't, you don't really notice they're there. Because, I mean, like, you just go by like it's a regular day. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, our uh, One of our producers, Chris Cody, was very concerned about Tua not being that good in the accuracy skills. Uh, do you want to, like, I, I want you to tell Chris to shut up if you don't mind. Like, who cares? It's Pro Bowl Skills Competition. 
Uh, so he basically was talking about Tua and his accuracy. Well, it, Tua prides himself on being the most, and Mike McDaniel does as well, yeah. on Tua being the most accurate quarterback in the NFL. And he was very concerned about Tua because he wasn't that accurate at the Pro Bowl. It's, it's a Pro Bowl. Bro. Exactly. Like, thank right. you. That's what it's <laughs> carnival games. It doesn't matter. That's yeah. not football. <laughs> he out there having fun. Like. Exactly right. How, how, how miserable was that game in Kansas City? Um, it was bad, right? Yeah. yeah it's pretty bad. Obviously because, yeah. you know, we lost, of course. But just not us losing. Like it, it, it was cold. But like when you lose it and you lose the game, like it, it, it just feels way more cold than yeah, what right. it is. Do you love Miami? Do you love living yeah. in Miami? Yeah. Yeah. What uh, in terms of the Super Bowl, uh, when you look at these two teams, uh -huh. the Chiefs and the Forty Nine ers, um, what are you thinking here? Because you played the Chiefs. Do you, I don't think you played the Forty Nine ers, but you played no. the Chiefs. Yeah. Uh, who do you, Chiefs. Like, wh how are you feeling about the game? Um, it's gonna be a great game. Well, both teams are great. Both teams got, you know, players on offense and defense side of the ball. Right. And I just think it comes down to, like, whoever makes the least mistakes. You like to play blackjack or anything? Nah. Nah? What are you going to get into here? Like, you going to do anything? Or? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm not the gambler type. but Right. How about no, shows, Just though? say I'm How not shows? gambling. Just say I'm not gambling. Because yeah. here's the thing. The rules are always changing. So they're like, yeah, no, it's cool. You can play blackjack. No, go to a slot machine. And then guess what? Next week they change the rules. You didn't know that, and then boom, four game suspension. <laughs> D just say no. If they ask you anything about gambling, not interested. Not for me. No, thank you. Yeah, I'm here for Pepsi. Yeah, I don't. I don't gamble. Though. Exactly right. <laughs> you won. You already won. What do you yeah. have to gamble for? What's yeah. the matter with you? <laughs> I'm giving him advice. I'm trying to protect him here. You're like the look. He's like the little devil on your shoulder. I'm trying to be the angel on your shoulder. Yeah. Making sure that we're in good shape so that next year we. I don't know why I'm saying we like I'm on the Dolphins, but next year we're in good shape. Mm -hmm. We come back. Me, you, Raheem, Mikey, we're there, and, and we go all the way to the Super Bowl. Yeah. Next year, we're, next year we're not going to be able to talk to you. You know why? You're not going to be doing this because You'll you're going to be, be preparing Bowl. for the game. Yeah. Exactly right. You're going to be in that. New Orleans. You're going to be preparing for the game. You're not going to have time for any of this stuff. That, that, that's, all, that's all good. That's, that's all. what I'm saying. He thinks he should be there now. <laughs> is it hard for you after, after you guys got eliminated by the Chiefs? Is it hard for you to watch the playoffs? Um, I wouldn't say it's hard, but, I mean, I feel like that we think – like as a team, like we, we know that we're a great team. And yeah. We know that we can be here. Yeah, right. So I, I pretty much think like that's the hard part. We talked to Tony Pollard earlier, and he said I was I he can't watch after it. after yeah. we got eliminated. I couldn't watch anymore. So, I mean, everybody different, man. Yeah, I, I feel like I feel like I, I watch it. You know, like you said, I, I still love the game of football. So you can learn from other teams, mm -hmm. you know, other team mistakes. Sure. And, I mean, that, I just figure out that that's why I watch it. Yeah. You know, um, Are you like the rest of us? Like, do you do you watch Patrick Mahomes and marvel at his ability? Um, Patrick Mahomes is great, man. That, yeah. That's a so I've been a rookie, like, my first time, like, actually, like, when we play against him, like, seeing him. Right. Like, not on TV. Yes. And, like, that he he real. Like, that's not, like, that's what he, like, that's something, like, he does. Like, it's just not, you watch it on TV, like, it's different when you, like, there in person. So, it's right. like, he's a fun, fun quarterback to watch. What do you enjoy doing most when you're not playing football or studying film? Um, I play video games. Video games, man. Yeah. You play against other guys? Um, yeah. Yeah? Who you play against on the Dolphins? Uh, I played against Tyreek Hill a couple times. <laughs> and me and Raheem, we play on um, Warzone. Do you guys talk trash to each other? No, we be on the same team on Warzone. <laughs> You're on the same team. Yeah. How about the other game, though, with Tariq? Same team? Uh, no, we play against each other. Yeah. Okay. Okay. yeah, of course we talk trash. <laughs> of course you do. Yeah. All right, we appreciate it, man. One more time on the way out. Tell us what you're doing with Pepsi and, uh, and Carnival. Um, so basically, man, um, just invite all rookies a chance to come with a free cruise. Um, tap the link at PepsiRookieCruise.com and, you know, get a chance to run your free cruise. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, man. It was fun watching you play this year. And uh, continued success and uh, enjoy the rest of the Congratulations, week. Congratulations, by the way. You're uh, nominated you. for Rookie of the Year. Yeah. Thank you. That's awesome. Well done, man. Uh, we enjoyed watching you in Miami. So uh, continued success to you. Yes, sir. All right, man. Michael Penix and Rome. Now I'm going to butcher it because you got me thinking too much. We, we were talking about it too much. I had to pronounce your last name. Uh -oh. Odunze. Did hey, I get it right? Right on. Right uh, on. You guys are with us on behalf of Sharpie. Thank you for joining us. You guys have it. Well, you just got into town, but are you excited to be in Vegas or what? Yeah, man. I'm super excited. Yeah. yeah. Being his, man, I'm back home. I'm back <laughs> home. Being his what, are the, home state. what are these smiles, you guys? What no, are you guys it's getting home, into? It's his home uh, state. Okay. So yeah. I was yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he knew here. He was sending me he, he sending me videos of the hotel. He he he's a country boy, so he's excited. <laughs> big lights, is no. this your first time in Vegas, Michael? No, this is my, I, I've been here. Okay. Pack 12. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we that's won, right. We yes. won out here. Yes. What are you guys doing with Sharpie? <laughs> yeah, so um, we, we both partner with Sharpie. Um, uh, our rookie deal, you know, we have uh, – we're especially talking about the Sharpie S gel pen with right here. You know, this is a pen that we'll be using, you know, to – I'll be using to sign my rookie contract. 
And uh, what I like about it is, as a lefty, you know, this this pen has no smear, no smudge, uh, no bleed. And you know, as a lefty, that, that's big time for me. So I don't have to worry about my autograph getting messed up. But um, man, it's a high performance pen that that's that's used it in uh, in a lot of different professional settings. You know, so uh, I'm super blessed to be a part of it. Yeah, no, it's super exciting. I mean, I remember, you know, using the smell of Sharpies growing up. I, every time a fan <laughs> asked me to sign something, it's most likely with Sharpies. So yes. it's super exciting. And like like Mike was saying, you know, they got this new pen. Um, and, and, and it's awesome because, you know, we take notes on football. So when we're taking notes, like being able to write quick and not having any smear, no bleed through the pages and making sure it all looks crisp, you know, the S-Gel pen gets it done for us. Plus, I like the sweatsuits, guys. i got to oh, be man. honest with you. Sweat yeah. Appreciate it. Swag is on <laughs> How do I get suit. one of those guys? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, don't you gotta, know. I mean, you, you can autograph my hat at the end, too, because <laughs> when I ask you to, because we got to try out the Sharpies, okay? Right? Yeah. But, uh -huh. but I want a sweatsuit. <laughs> okay, okay. We'll get it done. We'll get it. How'd you guys feel like all season? It felt like you guys kept winning games, kept winning games, kept winning games, and yet no one was giving you the proper respect. And so, how did that feel as it was going on? Uh, it was motivating. Yeah, it was motivating. Yeah, because you, know, you look for a chip, right? Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah. Our coach, he's the dev he put it on the screen in front of us. You know, <laughs> uh, beginning of the week, it's like, right. This is what the underdogs. Uh, this is what the uh, the numbers say this week. You know, the odds and stuff. You know, but man, we use that as motivation. We knew what we had in our room. We knew that we had what it takes uh, to beat anybody, and um, we just continue to show that uh, week by week. You feel yeah. it too, yeah? Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, the motivation just kept growing. I mean, you know, some of our biggest games, we continue to be underdogs in, and um, you know, that just gave, gave us that motivation, like Mike was saying. You know, we knew what we had, you know, internally, and, and before the season even started, we believed in ourselves that we were going to excel and have a lot of fun with it. So um, when people continue to doubt us, even when we were having that success yeah. at, at, a, at a great, great uh, clip, it, it, was, it was fun to be able to have that extra motivation from them. Have you guys taken credit for your coach getting the Alabama job? Oh, yeah. Because you should. Was, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? He doesn't get that job without you two. Get out of here. <laughs> no, I mean, you know. Michael smiling. No, nah, I mean, DeVore's been doing it for, for a long time. You know, you look at his uh, his resume, and it, it speaks for itself. And that's all those coaches, you know, all those coaches grew up, and you know, that offensive staff, that defensive staff, they've been, they've been doing it for a long time. So, um, you know, it connected, and we had a great year, which I'm sure propelled all of us. But, you know, they, 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 they they were going to be great regardless. Who's a quarterback that you would compare yourself to? You would say you have a uh, no one? <laughs> Michael, no one? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> Do you agree with it? I you guys agree. are really close friends. Like, I can yeah. tell there's a chemistry here. You should start a podcast. We'll talk about that on another day. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no one, that, no one that you could compare yourself to. You're the best quarterback in the draft. I'm the best. You're the best quarterback in the world. I'm the best. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're the best wide receiver in the world. Tell him. You're the best wide receiver Tell in the him, draft. Man. For sure. Who would you, who, like, is there a guy that you would say, I have a similar skill set to this guy in the NFL right now. Um, you know, I think I, my like different aspects of my game uh, resemble like different aspects of people in the NFL. I like to think of it like that, like not just one one uh, wide receiver that kind of has it, but different pieces of my game. Like my releases, I like to think of it in a Devontae Adams sort of way. My, right. My, uh, you know, contested catches, I like to think of that as like Julio Jones. My route running, I like to be like Keenan Allen. So it's uh, different aspects of different receivers that I like to combine. The uh, the transfer portal is such a great thing, I think, for, for college sports in general, but uh, specifically your sport in football. And, and without it, you wouldn't have been able to go from where you <laughs> where you were playing to Washington and competing for a national championship. These are good things. These are good times for college right. athletes, right? Yeah, for sure. Um, definitely, you know, I feel like, the transfer portal, it's amazing, you know, like, it definitely, you know, helped me out a lot, you know, within my career, you know, so I'm super blessed for it, and I like how, you know, they allow you to play right away, you know, because sometimes people get put in bad situations, you know, as far as the transfer portal, you know, because you got coaches that are that are leaving, coaches uh, get fired and stuff like that, and maybe you get put into a situation that, that, you, that might not fit you and your playing style, you know, so you know, I feel like the transfer portal is uh, big on allowing you to, to get to get to where you need to be to help you elevate yourself, uh, not only as a player, but as a person as well. So, What's the coolest thing about Michael? Because um, I know you're going to give me an honest answer. I'm going to ask you the most annoying thing after, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I would just say his poise. I mean, right. like, he keeps it cool, calm, collected. Like, I mean, he's a superstar, and he's been a superstar for a long time in college football. He's a superstar back in his hometown. So, yes. you know, he, he the, his ability to maintain, you know, keep it cool and, and still be a, a super genuine person to everybody he interacts with, uh, I think that's the coolest thing about him. What's the coolest thing about him? Um... Just being the same guy every day. Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter what setting we're in. You know, he he's going to be the same guy. 
Uh, especially I've been talking about it a lot, you know, just practice, you know, just his, his work habits as sure. well, you know. Um, you know, he never takes a rep off, and people ask about our connection a lot and, and what, what helped that, and I always say, you know, just the way that we practice, you know. he I knew that every time I threw him the ball in practice, he's going to give me 100% effort, you know. Um, even even if the ball, he knew the ball wasn't coming his way, he was going to give 100%, you know, because of the love that he has for this game and the, the love that he has for our, our team as well, you know. So, um, yeah, man, I, I'm blessed to have bro. So. Best friends get to break each other's balls. So I'm going to ask you both. You guys are really uh. good friends. No, you get to. You get to. I'm just wondering what's the most annoying thing about Michael. That's all. That's like, come on, give it to me. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> so you said what's the most what's annoying thing? Most annoying. Yeah, the thing that he does that annoys you the most. He laughed too much. <laughs> Look. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know if you don't. I like you guys. Man. How do I get you guys both to the Jets? Is that possible? <laughs> hey, man, know, make, man. make some calls, man. Make All some right. calls. One more time on the way out. While you sign my, uh, while you sign my hat, uh, tell us what you're doing with Sharpie, if you don't mind. Yeah, right. so um, we're here with Sharpie. Um, they, they got us out here. They got this new S-Gel pen they got us sporting. Um, no smear, no smudge. And we're just, uh, you know, promoting uh, – a great pen you know we're high performance athletes like my said and we want a high performance oh, pen sure. so um this allows us to do that oh, sure. and sharpie's been been around for a long time so it's exciting to be able to be working with them you know i remember using sharpie like i said earlier the, the smell of sharpies and and um you know every time the fan hands me I, I'm, I'm using a sharpie so now i'd like to be to be partnering with them it's, it's kind of crazy and it's, it's surreal but yeah they've been in the game for a long time so it's been all right, I love you guys. You guys are great. Seriously, yes, you're really good at this. Both of you are really good at this, and you're really young. So <laughs> there's a lot of hope moving forward. Hopefully you won't be here too often because you'll be playing in Super Bowls. But we appreciate it uh, and appreciate uh, you guys spending some time with us and signing my hat. And uh, thanks to Sharpie for getting this done. Thank yes, you, guys. Sir. I appreciate right. you for having right. us. Good luck to both of you, man. Yeah, Enjoy your you. week, okay? Thank, thank you. you as well. All right, man.